Sturgeon is the common name for the 27 species of fish belonging to the Acipenseridae family. True sturgeons appear in the fossil record during the Upper Cretaceous. A partial skull from 100 to 94 million years ago found in Alberta, Canada is among the oldest known remains. Sturgeon range from subtropical to subarctic waters, only in the northern hemisphere. Throughout this extensive range, almost all species are highly threatened or vulnerable to extinction due to habitat destruction, overfishing, and pollution. Most species are at least partially anadromous, spawning in fresh water and feeding in nutrient-rich, brackish waters of estuaries or undergoing significant migrations along coastlines. However, some species have evolved purely freshwater existences, such as the lake sturgeon and the Baikal sturgeon. Sturgeons are recognizable for their elongated bodies, flattened rostra, distinctive scuts and barbels, and elongated upper tail lobes. They have four barbels, sensory organs, that precede their wide, toothless mouths. They navigate their river rhine habitats, traveling just off the bottom with their barbels dragging along gravel or murky substrate. Sturgeons are among the largest fish. Some beluga, Huso Huso, in the Caspian Sea, reportedly attain over 5.5 meters, 18 feet, and 2,000 kilograms, 4,400 pounds. In addition, some Kaluga, H. Edoricus, in the Amur River, with similar lengths and over 1,000 kilograms, 2,200 pounds, have been reported. They are also among the longest-lived fishes, some living well over 100 years and attaining sexual maturity at 20 years or more. Over their 100 million years of existence, sturgeons have undergone remarkably little morphological change, indicating their evolution has been exceptionally slow, earning them informal status as living fossils. Which is explained by their long generation interval, tolerance for wide ranges of temperature and salinity, and lack of predators, due to size in bony plated armor or scuts. Sturgeons are broadcast spawners and do not spawn every year because they require specific conditions. Those requirements may or may not be met yearly due to varying environmental conditions such as the proper photo period in spring, clear water with shallow rock or gravel substrate, where the eggs can adhere, and proper water temperature and flow for oxygenation of the eggs. A single female may release 100,000 to 3 million eggs, but not all will be fertilized. 8 to 15 days are needed for the embryos to mature into larval fish. River currents carry the larvae downstream into backwater areas, where the free-swimming fry spend their first year feeding on insect larvae and crustacea. During their first year of growth, they reach 18 to 20 centimeters, 7 to 8 inches in length, and migrate back into the swift-flowing currents in the main stem river. Sturgeons are primarily benthic feeders with a diet of shellfish, crustaceans, and small fish. Having no teeth, they are unable to seize prey. The larger individuals and more predatory species can swallow very large prey items, including whole salmon. They feed by extending their siphon-like mouths to suck food from the benthos. Sturgeons feed non-visually. They are believed to use a combination of sensors, including olfactory, tactile, and chemosensory cues detected by the four barbels, and electroreception using their ampullae of Lorenzini. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget that, each new subscriber and positive comment, motivates us to create more and better content. Thanks for watching.